fine. Soles of feet together, knees go wide. If you need to put blocks underneath your knees, go ahead and do that. Or you, if you have blankets at home and you need a little bit of extra support, you can put the blankets underneath your knees. All right, baby, come over to the side. And just let yourself start to arrive in this space. Start to connect to your breath. So it's butterfly pose on your back. I'll go into the pose. I just want to make sure that you guys will be able to hear me. And just start to feel your breath. We're going to start to connect to our ujjayi breath. Breathe in through your nose. And feel the exhale come out the nose. Using the back of the lungs. The back of the throat, it's a slightly audible sound. Maybe you have one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, maybe not. Maybe you'd like to take three cleansing breaths with me. Breathe in through your nose as much as you can. And on the exhale, just open up your mouth and sigh it out. I'm gonna do this about two more times. Breathe in through the nose. Open up your mouth and just sigh it out. And reconnect to your ujjayi breath. Feel your body beginning to relax. As you exhale, feel the belly pulling toward the spine as you brace the core, activating that major energy center. Can you soften your face? You soften through the knees and through the hips. Feel your shoulders melting into the floor. Feel the subtle opening of the hips. Let's take about three more breaths here. Slowing down the breath. Maybe you'd like to take another cleansing breath. Let something go. In your own time, slowly bring the knees back together. Start to take an overhead stretch. We can walk the legs out long and reach the hands overhead. Any intuitive movement in your hips, in your feet or in your wrists is more than welcome. And on an inhale, bring your knees back into chest. You can grab below the knees and grab the pointy parts of your elbow or you can grab the back of the thighs. Squeeze your knees together. Draw your belly in. Maybe you look towards your heart. Keep your head on the ground. Find that ujjayi breath and think about lowering the tailbone to the floor slightly. You can rock side to side or remain still. 
you have the option to draw circles on the ceiling with your knees. Make sure you take it in the opposite direction. In your own time, we're gonna lift the legs toward the ceiling. Don't worry about if the legs are straight or not. It's okay if the knees are bent. You can grab the back of the thighs. You can have your hands to the ceiling or the hands overhead. Anything that works for you and just take a few breaths here. And any time I give an option for a pose that doesn't serve you, know that you can always take a different pose or go to the pose we were just in. You can have a subtle gaze. Your eyes can be closed. Let's take a few more breaths here. And be real mindful as we bring the knees back in toward the chest. Align the knees over the hip bones and let your knees fall toward the right. If you need to put a block underneath your knees or between your knees, that's perfectly fine. Or once again, you can always use your blanket. Supine twist. Anything goes with the arm that feels best for yogi. And reconnect into the breath. Can everybody hear me okay? If you can't hear me, put your hand up. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Lindsay. So right now, with everything that's going on, we're really being um, put in a space where it's, it's crucial that we learn to honor that slowing down. Take another breath here. Feel your chest expand. Maybe the scapula pulls apart a little bit, maybe not. And then soften out of the pose. We're gonna bring the knees back in toward chest. Maybe you'd like to lift the legs toward the ceiling. Maybe you like something different. And when you're ready, let's take the legs to the other side. Knees can come to chest and we can drop the knees toward the left. Coming back into that Ujjayi breath. Gaze could be toward the right or to the left. Take just a few more moments here. Where can you soften? And in your own time, let's bring the knees back in toward chest. It's up to Yogi if you'd like to lift the legs to the ceiling or take something totally different. And we can come into happy baby pose, taking a bend in the knees. Flex your feet so the soles of your feet are toward the ceiling. Hands can grab the outside blade of the foot. Now, if this is too intense for you right away, maybe you want to do half happy baby and put that left foot on the floor with the knee bent. If you had a strap, you could always have a strap around your foot. It's up to Yogi if you like to hinge and unhinge that leg, that kneecap to lengthen through. And if you did one leg at a time, you might want to switch. Taking a final breath. Gently start to release the happy baby pose. Anything that feels good for you. Maybe you like to take an overhead stretch once more. Maybe not. We can bring knees into chest, cross at the ankles, and gently rock back and forth on our spine. If that doesn't serve you, you can always roll to the side and eventually just meet me and an easy seated pose. Maybe you rock another time or two. And find that easy seated pose. Coming onto your sit bones. If you need to, you can always sit on a blanket. So at home, our home practice is really nice because we have all these props around that we can use. Let your hands just rest on your knees. 
Feel your pelvic floor stabilize as you root down through your sit bones and reach up through the spine and just soften the face. Maybe you'd like to take a cleansing breath. On an inhale, reach the hands overhead. Palms face each other. And on the exhale, twist toward the right. Expand through the arm. Maybe you look over that right shoulder, maybe not. And inhale, hands back overhead. And gently twist towards your left. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, goddess arm. And very slowly bring your palms to touch in front of you, nice and slow. Bring your attention to the space between your palms here. And just notice if you feel anything. <coughs> Sorry, my dogs are acting like cats today. We hear a bunch of hairballs. Apparently, they just want to be gross. All right, yogis. Let's bring our attention into, um, bring our focus into our intention for today's practice. You could bring your thumb knuckles towards your third eye. And set your intention for practice. Release the hands down to the knees. Inhale, reach your spine nice and long. And as you exhale, bring the right ear toward the right shoulder. Try not to collapse in the spine and round. You really want to be lifting up, almost like you're opening the heart to the ceiling. If you like to deepen the pose, you could place your right hand by your left ear. Don't push, just set it there. If you still like to deepen the pose, you could take your left hand Fingertips face your tailbone, palm down, and you could sit on that left hand. Option to tent your fingertips of the right hand and take your gaze toward that right shoulder. Gently release. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, bring the right fingertips to the floor and bend to the right, left hand up and over. Inhale, back up through center. Left hand to the floor, right hand up and over. Inhale, back through center. You could goddess the arm. Little back bend action. And then release. Cleansing breath if it serves you. Find your peace. Inhale, lengthen your spine, left ear toward left shoulder as you exhale. Option to take that left hand and just set it on the head. Deepen the pose as you wish if you'd like to sit on the right hand, palm down, fingertips towards your tailbone. Option to tent your left fingertips and slowly take your gaze toward the left. <coughs> Gently release. Inhale, can reach hands overhead. Palms face each other. Left hand to the floor. Bend over to the left. Inhale through center. Palms face each other and take it toward the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, however you like. Maybe the goddess feeling your scapula come together as you lift the heart sternum up and gently release. And let's come into tabletop pose. Shifting yourself forward. Spread the fingers wide. From here, cat cow. So press into your fingertips, mount of first fingers. You inhale up. Exhale, chin toward chest and round. Now it's a very basic staple pose, but it's a very powerful pose. Preparing your spine for movement. Any intuitive motion? More than welcome. Please stay connected the best you can to your ujjayi breath. You can look over the shoulder, inhale, exhale. 
You could tuck toes and float back and forth with this. You could take full dancing lines. So let's find a few more breaths here as we explore that intuitive space. All you have to do is breathe, and in time, the body will just move with the breath. Coming back through tabletop pose, rotate the fingers toward the kneecaps, right hand or both hands. Take a breath here. Try to lengthen through the arm as much as you can, lift up out of the wrist. If you did one hand at a time, you could gently release that, take it toward the left hand. Gently release that, we all do, and let's just do a counter. Place the back of the hand, palm up, back of the hand on the mat, palm up. Fingers towards your knees, one hand at a time or both hands. You can wiggle the fingers in toward the palm if that feels good for you. If you did one hand, please switch. If you did both hands, you could just stay there. Wonderful yogis. Gently release that. Child's pose. Big toes can touch, knees can go wide. And remember, you can always put a block underneath the forehead. Or once again, your blanket underneath your forehead. Option to tent your fingers, meaning lifting the palms up and pressing the fingers, tips into your mat. You could drop the right shoulder toward the mat and then the left. That's a little complicated, don't worry about it. Gently release that. Start to walk the hands in a little bit. We're just gonna do a shoulder stretch. So let's take the right hand across the body underneath that left arm, right palm up. You could stay here if this is enough, or you can start to bring your head to the mat or to the floor and left hand can reach toward the top of your mat. Left hand could also be closer to the body if that's a little better for you today. Remember, find that Ujjayi breath so you get the most out of every pose. Find that left hand close to the body and press into that left hand. Maybe you like to reach that right hand open toward the right and then release back into child's pose. And let's take it to the other side. Start to walk your hands in, nice long spine. Left hand's gonna reach across the body. Left palm up, right hand could extend or take any variation that works best for you. Right hand will slide in toward the body and press into that right hand so you safely take that left arm out. You could reach it up to the ceiling. Release, child's pose. Walk your hands over toward the right. Maybe knees are going a little wider here now. Left hand could, it doesn't have to, set on top of the right hand. Feel your left shoulder facing toward the floor as you elongate through the left side of your body. Inhale takes you back and through center, and then take this to the other side. Inhale brings you back and through center, and then come all the way out onto your belly, prone position. Alligator pose. Palm over palm, elbows out to the side, and let your third eye just rest. Relax your legs and your glutes for a moment. And feel yourself just being grounded as all of your chakras are facing the ground here. Let's extend our arms out in front of us like Superman, palms are down. Bring your big toes as close as you can and start to squeeze your legs and your glutes. You could stay here or take your gaze between the hands. 
Or you could come into sinks so and separate your feet max distance and come onto your forearms. So there's a lot of options there, whatever extension is best for you. Soften your jaw and just come into your breath in a gaze. Just gaze and breathe. Press to the inner part of your forearm. Use the breath in and out. Squeeze legs and glutes and don't dump into the shoulders. Take another breath here. Option to look toward the ceiling. Soften your jaw and just gently breathe in and out the mouth. Option to press into your forearms. Gaze goes back to center. Chin could come toward chest. Your jaw breath again. Make sure you're pressing into those forearms so you don't dump into the shoulders. Gaze goes forward and gently release your forehead back into that alligator. Soften your legs and your glutes and just take a moment to experience the, that space. We don't always have to be doing the most physically difficult poses to feel a sensation. Let's bring the base of our big toes to touch. Heels come close, and we're all gonna do it this time. Squeeze your glutes and squeeze your thighs. Notice that your kneecaps lifted up off the floor, probably. Let's bring, we're preparing for Cobra Pose. Five fingers together and next to your chest or, or right, right, like maybe just a little bit below your shoulder. Squeeze your elbows in toward your body and inhale, lift your gaze to the ceiling. Don't look past the belly button and release down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. One more time. Release the pose. Tuck your toes, option to press the plank or to child's pose. Meet me in downward facing dog. Bending the knees, finding turbo dog, press into your fingertips. Make a yes notion with your head and a no notion. And elongate your spine. So you're pressing into fingertips and the mound of your first finger. You might come up a little higher on the toes. Strong Ujjayi breath. Option to walk out the down dog. Bending one knee at a time, coming up as high as you can on the opposite foot's toes. And then meet me in downward facing dog. Gaze those between your hands and come up as high as you can onto your toes. So we're going to try and tippy-toe to the top of the mat. Pick your right foot up and flex it. Bring it forward. Point the toes. Lift your left foot up and flex it. Toes to the mat. Just do the best you can. Bend your knees when you need to. Halfway lift when you get there. Hands can come underneath your knees on the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, upper body touching lower body. One more time. And then inhale, reach the hands up overhead. Palms touch. Your gaze can be toward the thumbs. Hold that space. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs. Hips press forward slightly. Root down in your feet. Can you press your palms together and reach up a little bit taller? Breathe in. On the exhale, twist to the right. Expand your arms as much as you can. Breathe. Feel the right hip facing forward. Inhale, hands overhead. 
Twist to the left. Try to keep left hip facing forward as much as you can. Inhale, hands overhead, palms touch. Hands come to heart center. Hands by the side and take a moment, take a breath and just feel the effect. Inhale, reach hands overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half chair pose. Take the hands behind you, palms face each other. Weight in the heel, beautiful, that's it, yogis. Inhale, chair pose, hands overhead, palms touch. You don't have to sit down as low, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your right leg back, drop the knee, low crescent lunge. Maybe you hook the thumbs and inhale, hands up. Maybe you like to goddess the arms and grab the pointy parts of your elbow or any amount counts. So maybe grab the forearm or just wrist the ribs. Lift up out of your waist. As you push into your left big toe, left knee squeezing in towards your midline. <laughs> Lift yourself up through center. Option to bend to the left a little bit. Option to bend to the right a little bit. Back through center. Reach hands toward the ceiling. Engage your core. Lean forward and move into half splits. Option to not use your hands. Press into your heel. If you need to use your hands, go right ahead. Hands can be on the floor. Squeezing everything into your midline. Squeeze your left thigh, belly in. Right hand down, left hand up, a twist. Right hand to the floor, blanket or block. Left arm to the ceiling. Find nice and long. Gaze can be toward left thumb or the floor. If there's no, nothing going on in your neck, you can practice a little bit of mobility with me by looking toward the left thumb and looking toward right thumb one more time. Left hand comes down to meet right, well, to frame left foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Point left toes into the floor a little bit or a whole lot. Take a few more breaths. Now, it's really important that we're squeezing this quadriceps so that we actually lengthen our hamstring back here. Bend into your left knee, hands on the inside of this left foot. There we go. Find your right foot, if you need to, bring it up and down. Kickstand it. So that right foot is going to go over towards your left. There we go. Left hand down, open to the right. Left arm is pushing into that left leg, and the leg is pushing back into the arm at the same time. Option to streamline this right hand, right bicep by the ear. Inhale up through center, you're facing the right. It's a little weird. And then come back down, streamline that right hand. Inhale through center again, stay here, or maybe you want to bring that right hand to the floor, left hand up and over. Inhale through center and come on down. Streamline that right hand one more time. Right hand windmills backwards to meet the left hand. Bring that right leg back in, frame this left foot. Tuck the right toes, runner's lunge. Squeeze your glutes and squeeze that right thigh. Option, so much Andrasana. Right hand down, left hand up, step one, stay here, or pivot onto the blades of the feet. Feel your hips lifting up high. Get up out of that right wrist by pressing into those fingertips and mound the first finger. Option to streamline, left hand. Option to reach left hand back toward that extended foot. Runner's lunge. Right foot steps to meet left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Left leg steps back, drop the knee, low crescent lunge. 
Inhale, hand up. Maybe you hook thumb. Maybe you goddess the arms. Maybe you grab the pointy parts of your elbow or just work toward that space. Lift up out of your waist. Press right big toe into floor. Lift your heart, sternum up. Maybe you're going back a little bit. Maybe a lot, maybe not at all. Inhale through center. Option to take that little side bend to the right, little side bend to the left. Inhale through center. We can reach hands all the way up toward the ceiling. And we're going to move into that half split. Maybe you reach forward, engage your core, press your right heel into the floor, take the hands back. Remember, squeeze that right thigh. It really wants to relax. Let's add the twist. Left hand down, right hand up. Any amount is fine. Maybe right hands to waist today. If you like to do some mobility in your neck, we're looking up and we're gonna look down. And we're gonna do it again a few times. We're gonna bring that right hand down, reach those arms far apart, frame the right leg, maybe you point the right toes into the floor. Notice how it's just a little different. Very nice, yogis, we're gonna bend into that right knee and bring both hands on the inside of the right foot. Figure out where your left foot is and take it over to the right for the kickstand. Right hand down, left hand up toward the ceiling. Or again, if this isn't working for your shoulders, you can always have a hand on the waist. Just working toward that intention is really what matters. Equal opposition of forces down here. Right arm pressing into leg, leg pressing into arm. Option to streamline that left hand. Now let's inhale up through center. There we go. Exhale back down. Use your core. Pull belly into spine. Brace. Get streamlined. Inhale back up and take it toward the left. Maybe. Maybe just left hand goes to the waist and right hand up. Maybe you're like, oh, let's see what happens. It's a little different. Inhale back up and right hand down. Left hand up and over. There we go. Left hand can windmill backwards to meet the right hand. Left toes come back in, frame the right leg, tuck left toes, runners lunge, squeeze thigh, squeeze glute. Option to go deeper into neck through the moon pose, so much andrasana. Left hand down, right hand up. This is just a twisted runner's lunge. You can stay here or go onto the blades of your feet. Hips lift up nice and high. Grip the floor with that left hand. Option to streamline right hand. Option to take that right hand toward that back foot. Streamline right hand. Windmill back to runner's lunge. Left foot steps to meet right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale is your forward fold. Whatever that looks like for you. Inhale, reach hands overhead. Palms touch. Squeeze your glutes. Press heels down. Hold the space. Hands to heart. Hands by your side. Soften everything and just breathe. Maybe you'd like to bring one hand to your heart, one hand toward the belly. Think of your intention. And release. Eagle pose. Inhale, hands overhead. Right arm under left. Right arm under left. You cross at the elbows. You can cross at the wrist. Or you're just working toward that space. Don't go away from it. Just go toward it. Draw your belly in and sit down. Right leg goes up high over left. Any amount, this is fine. Maybe right toes wrap around that left calf. Maybe you pull that right hip back in alignment with left and sit down more. 
See if you can pull the fingertips below your nose and forward as you lean your spine back. One day, maybe elbows and knees are going to be over each other through the center of the body. Squeeze everything in toward that midline. Midline, that imaginary line going between your eyes, nose, down the center of your throat, and all the way down to your tailbone. Squeeze. Take another breath. Gently release. Hands reach up overhead. Other side. Left hand underneath the right. Cross at elbows, cross at wrists, and sit down. Weight is going to go into your right heel as you pick your left leg up and over your right leg. Find something to gaze at. Remember, any amount is fine. Even if those left toes were touching a block, it's all good. Sit down low. Left hip in line with right. Belly pulls into your spine. Lean your spine back. Having a good time here. And gently release. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift and find yourself in yogi squat. Separate the feet. If you need to sit on a block, do that. Hands could come to heart. And just find your focus. Find your breath. You can stay here and breathe, or you can add your arms in. Right hand can go to the floor or to a block. Left hand can extend up. You could even work toward a bind. Left palm away. Give yourself a pat on the back for a good job. And maybe, maybe, your fingers will grip, or maybe your right hand will grab your left wrist. You can stay here or look over the right shoulder and look over your left shoulder. One more time. Step by step, we release the pose. So be mindful as you release the grip. Feel that space in the arms, hands back toward heart. Now some of you might need to release into like a short down dog for a moment, or we could just go to the other side. So just follow your intuition. Feel the spaces, work toward intention. Right palm away, good job. And then you work on lifting your heart back up. Push through the blades of your feet and into the heels. You can look over left shoulder and over right. And again, you don't have to. Step by step, you can start to release the pose. Hands in toward heart, and then bring the arms out in front of you as you lengthen the legs. Let your hips just sway side to side. Circumduction, we can come up high into the toes and just draw a circle on the ceiling with your tailbone. Pressing into your hands at the same time, take it in the other direction. There we go. Feet are going to come a little bit closer. If you can, base of big toes can touch. Drop your hips for that half chair. Palms face each other, weight in your heels. Try to keep your neck in alignment. Just look forward and breathe. Inhale, palms overhead. Palms can touch. Chair. Breathe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your right leg back, drop the knee, inhale, low crescent lunge. Now this time we have the option to go backwards. So you can stay here, you can interlace fingers, release first finger, reach up and let your head go back. Now find something to look at as you lift up out of the waist and bend into your left knee. Find something to look at, lift up to go back. Lift up to go back. Little sips of breath. Press into the left, left foot. Inhale up through center. Half split. You could reach forward. You could use the arms or not. Add a twist. Right hand down, left hand up. We were here before. Left hand down. Frame left foot. You could point.
behind the left toes. Option to walk your hands toward the left. Over the midline, over that left leg. Left hand to waist, or stay here, or extend that left arm out parallel to the floor. Lengthen your spine and twist open. Revolve triangle variation. Gently release. Frame that right leg, bend into this left knee. Runner's lunge. So much Andrasana or just the twist. It's up to Yogi. Streamline left hand. And then reach back toward that back foot. One more time. Runner's lunge, drop that right knee, inhale, hands over head, low crescent lunge. Yogis, you have an option, side body stretch. Left hand to waist, to a block or to the floor, right hand up and over. Open your heart toward the ceiling. And let's reverse it. Inhale back through crescent, right hand back, left hand up and back. Inhale, crescent, twist to your left. Keep the arms nice and long the best that you can. All right, this is tricky. Let's see, let's just see what happens. Tuck right toes and lift up water wheel. Right, it's so much fun because it's tricky. Take another breath, squeeze right thigh. Left hand sweeps to the floor, crescent pose. Warrior two to the right. Right heel shifted in line with the arch of your back foot. Reverse it, keep the left knee bent, left hand up, you could look to the ceiling. Back to warrior two, straighten the left leg, bring your right foot in if you need to, triangle. Look toward that left hand and just shift toward the left. When you can't shift anymore, left hand to shin, Block or floor, right hand could go up. Bend your left knee if you need to. Nothing wrong with it. Option to streamline right hand, bicep by ear. Let's bring ourselves into wide leg forward fold to the right. Right hand could guide you. All 10 toes face the right side of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press the Rita Padottanasana A or anything you want to do. You can work the hands to the floor. Spine is long. You can walk your hands in line with your heels if you have that range of motion and keep the elbows in. Don't let them just hang out. Take another breath. Inhale up halfway, bend into that right knee like skier, bend into left knee. Right knee, left knee, runners lunge to the left. Come up a little bit, pivot, downward facing dog. Look between the hands, come up as high as you can to the toes. You can practice tiptoeing, floating, or hopping. Flex your foot, point the toes, flex your foot, point the toes, flex your foot, point the toes. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale for that half chair variation. Inhale to chair, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left leg back. Drop the knee, low crescent lunge. So you kind of know what we're doing. Let's move in toward that back bend. Any amount is good. This is just fine, letting your head go back and reaching your arms up. This is enough. If you want more, you're going back. Let your head go back. Reach your arms up. Reach up out of your waist and squeeze your right knee into the midline. Little sips of breath. 
Inhale up through center. Lean forward, half split. Push into your right heel. Left hand down, right hand up. Add the twist. Right hand can go back to frame this right leg. You can point the right toes into the floor. Try to keep your hips in alignment. Option to walk the hands toward the right across the midline. You can stay here or add on. Right hand to the waist, right hand out, or open all the way up. You can stop at any of those bus stops, I call them. And gently release. Frame this left leg, inhale, low crescent lunge. Let's add a side body stretch. Right hand to the waist or to the floor. Left hand goes up and over. You gotta bend into your left right knee and you're stretching through that left psoas and hip flexors. It can be a little tight. Let's reverse it. Inhale through center. Left hand back, right hand up and over. And frame that right leg. The runner's lunge. Add in the Soma Chandrasana or just so twisted runner's lunge. Option to streamline right hand and reach it toward that back foot. Hips are lifting up nice and high. And again. There we go. Runner's lunge. Drop the left knee. Inhale, low crescent. Twist to your right, expand through the arms, and let's check it out. Tuck left toes, lift into water wheel. Right hand sweeps to the floor, crescent pose. Warrior two. So there's a shift here in the feet. Front heel lines with back arch. Reverse it, left hand down, right hand up and back. Prepare for triangle. Warrior two, straighten right leg. Inhale, reaches your spinal guide, get that space and shift toward the right. Right hand down, left hand up, triangle. Remember all of your options. Hearts opening to the ceiling, you can streamline left hand and take your gaze forward. Squeeze the thighs, press feet down. Left hand can guide us into wide leg forward fold to the left. All 10 toes, squeeze the left side of your mat. Inhale halfway, exhale fold. Yogis, if you want to put an inversion in, you are more than welcome to. Any inversion that you like, or I'm going to go through um, a forearm drill. So for this one, or you can do anything we just did. We're gonna bring our forearms maybe to the floor. So you, if, if this isn't happening, you're just probably working on that, some more mobility in your hips and spine. All right, so from here, we can come up high into the toes, press into your forearms, drop the heels down. Inhale, lift the he heels up. Exhale, heels down. And three more times. Press into the inner portion of your forearm. Gaze is between the forearms. Don't sink into the shoulders. Let's see, one more time. Heels down toward the floor. Very nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend into left knee like skier. Bend into right knee. One more time. Left knee. Right knee, pivot toward the right, runner's lunge, downward dog. Maybe you need a cleansing breath, so breathe in the nose and exhale out the mouth. One more time. Look between the hands, floating tabletop. You shift forward and bring your knees under your hips. Maybe one inch. If it's too intense, just let your knees rest on the floor. Now you can stay here, brace your core, a jolly breath, 
or you can lift your right thigh parallel to the floor. Try to keep your left knee close to the floor. Flex your right foot, press into your fingers. Release that. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Flex left foot. Right knee stays close to the mat, press into your hand. Try to keep the pelvic floor even. Release that. Right hand toward left shoulder. Pelvic floor stays even, don't open it up. Release, try not to move around more than you have to. Left hand toward right shoulder. And release that knees to the floor, puppy. Knees under the hips, walk your arms out. Chest could come to the floor. Forehead to the floor. Or forehead to your block or to your blanket rolled. If it's too intense on the arms, hands can stay by your neck or head, elbows up for cricket, like this demo. Or you can look toward the top of your mat, throw it on the floor if the pose is very accessible for you. If you want to go into a deeper back bend and you have it, let me give you two options. Option one, you can point the toes and lift the heels toward the butt. Or if you have a lot of extension in your spine, you do back bending all the time, you just practice with me a lot, maybe you want to tuck the toes and lift your legs up, but your chest is staying in that puppy. It could be very intense and I'll demo it. Otherwise, just you can breathe where you're at. And when you're satisfied, come onto your belly and find that alligator space. Palm over palm, elbows out. Forehead down. And just reconnect to your breath here. Notice if it's a little different than the first time we were here. To help release the low back a little bit, we can take the arms in the goddess and find half frog on the right leg. So we're gonna think about sliding the right knee toward that right elbow. Arms are in goddess. You could look to the right or you could look to the left to deepen it a little bit. Just feel yourself surrendering into this pose as you soften. Nothing to do but breathe. Two more breaths. Release your right leg. You could come back in the alligator. You could bend your knees and move the feet left and right. And let's just take this on to the other side. You could goddess the arms again and slide that left knee toward the left elbow. You could look toward left or toward right. <coughs> Two more breaths. Just 
gently release that left leg down to meet right. You might move in toward that alligator, bend your knees and move the legs left and right, or you just might find stillness. Release the legs through center, find Sphinx pose, or any of those options we talked about in the beginning of class, or seal. Seal, your legs go wider, arms go out, and, you, and for seal pose, the hands are a little closer to the body. It's some major compression there in your low spine. So if it doesn't feel good for you, don't force it. There's no reason to. You can just be on those forearms. Just soften your face. Squeeze legs and glutes. If you like that throat stretch, you can take the gaze toward the ceiling, soften the mouth, teeth are apart, and it's a soft breath in and out the mouth. You could bring chin toward chest and come back to the jai breath. And then gaze goes forward, gently release onto your back, or onto your belly. You can reach hands overhead and just roll onto your spine. And it can feel really good when you roll. You could just get into it. Anything that feels good for you as you make your way onto your back. Whenever you do arrive, you can take an overhead stretch and move your hips around if it feels good. And we'll bring knees in toward chest. And once again, I just ask you to reflect on how this might be a little different from the beginning of class. We can lift the legs toward the ceiling. Anything goes with your arms, on the belly, back of the thighs, or overhead or to ceiling. Happy baby pose. Completing a full circle. You can rock, you can have stillness. <laughs> One more breath. You can gently release your legs back to the ceiling. Knees in toward chest. And just ending with the supine twist. There's so many. You can take any option. You can do what we did in the beginning of class, or you can take the left leg over the right and drop the legs toward the right. So it's just like eagle legs, but you don't have to. And remember, you can put blocks and blankets underneath your legs if you need them. Inhale through center, and then you can take this in the other side. Legs could go to the ceiling, right leg over left, and you could drop your legs toward the left. Take a final breath here, big breath in. Let it out. Inhale, legs back in through center, yogis. And if you need anything else, you can take it. Or you can start to find your shape for savasana. You could let your legs go out nice and long. You could have the knees bent. I like to lay on my belly. You could do that. You could lay on your side. If you're on your back, you can put your hands underneath your hips. <clears throat> And I ask you again to start to think about your intention. Maybe you like to tighten all of your muscles and your bandhas, creating energetic locks internally. And feel this, sometimes people feel pressure inside building, and some people just see light. 
and visualize that intention. And let's do this together. We're gonna take a big breath in and on the exhale, side out as loud as you can and soften everything. Big breath in. And just let yourself go. Let go of the pranayama breath. And in time, your mind will start to relax. Just stay with the practice, yogis. I'm gonna send distance Reiki to those who want it. All you have to do is let your higher self accept it. And I'm gonna sage you from a distance here while you're in your savasana. May you be free from fear. May you be free from hate. May you be filled with peace. May you be filled with love. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you find the blessing in this, in this internal time that we have to just slow down. And we all have this permission right now to just slow down and to just be you can stay here in your savasana as long as you'd like. Or if you'd like to start to make your way up to an easy seated pose, you can. Eyes can be gazed or closed and hands could be at heart center. I am truly thankful for each of you logging on with me today and helping give me some purpose still here. I'm so thankful for each one of